So let's say I work with an example, right? Just to show the product rule. The product rule says that if f of x is equal to two functions d of x multiplied by h of x, then the derivative of f of x is going to be equal to the original function g of x times the derivative of h plus h of x times the derivative of g. And that's the product rule in total life. Now, an example, I am given f of x equals x squared and the square root of 3x minus 1. So therefore, I am going to make each of these equal to, this is going to be my g of x function, and this is going to be my h of x function. So let's go ahead and find the derivative of this function, which is 2x, and let's find the derivative of this function, which is going to be, because this is 3x to the minus 1, 3x minus 1 to the power of half, I take half in front, chain rule, becomes negative half times 3. And I can rewrite this as 1, actually yeah, the 3 will go to the top, 3 over 2 square root 3x minus 1. Bringing that into the denominator, bring that into the denominator, bring that into the denominator. Because that means that. Now that I have those two functions over there, this is h of x, and this is h dash of x, I can just substitute it into this to get the derivative. So g of x is the original function, which is x squared. Now h dash of x, which is this there, 3 over 2 square root 3x minus 1, plus h of x, which is going to be 3x minus 1, to the power of half, or let's just say square root, you can leave it as that, 3x minus 1 root. And then now g of x, oh, I made a mistake there, this was supposed to be the derivative of g of x, right? Which is actually, it's this. that's fine. So 2x, and that's going to be the derivative, the original function h of x, which I've assigned at the start. Now I've left of this, I can simplify this now, right? Simplifying this completely, I've got 3x squared over 2 root 3x minus 1 plus 2x root 3x minus 1, actually over 1. I bring it into a single fraction and cross multiply, multiply both sides by 2 root 3x minus 1. The left hand side will stay the same. If I multiply this by 2 root 3x minus 1, this is going to be 4x, and the bracket will the square root bracket will disappear over 2 root 3x minus 1. This will become 12x squared and minus 4x. 3x squared plus 12x squared is going to get 15x squared. 4x minus uh, times 1 is 4x times negative 1 minus 4x. All divided by 2 root 3x minus 1. Like that. Okay, and that now is the product rule. 